what's up youtube we are back with a brand new tutorial and it's gonna be on liquids in spline which is a uh, kind of a mystery but we learn how to do it um first you want to drop a cube and uh, reposition it in the screen next you want to increase the base subdivisions after you subdivide it uh, so we are going to building a flask here and we want to make sure we get the shape so extrude the top and uh, I'm going to resize it from here and uh, try to get that flasky look. Feel free to take your own approach here. Next thing you want to do is actually insect the top of the shape so that we can build a neck for the flask, uh, something like that. And then you want to extrude the neck and then extrude it once more for the lip of the flask I'm going to do some fine tuning here get a better looking flask so feel free to take your own creative approach to this and you just don't have to copy everything I do um, but uh, if you need a exact step by step flask design this is how we go uh, next I want to do a loop cut in the middle of the neck and drag that down so we have a refined uh, shape at the bottom of the neck I'm gonna give that another try so it's not too sharp and uh, next we want to select the lip area make sure it's all selected and select the extrusion tool and just start dragging um, so we get that nice lip uh, next select the top area and insect it once and then select the extrusion tool and extrude it downwards and you will get a nice entry point for the flask uh, obviously it's gonna be fake but it will get the job done next I wanna add materials uh, I'm gonna start by adding a glass material for the flask and then for nail uh, I'm gonna set the scale to 2 and uh, you're free to play with the colors here but uh, I feel like choosing a lighter gradient uh, in the fresnel uh, area would help me blend it more alright things are looking good um, I'm gonna turn off the grid flow so it's a bit cleaner for me so we're gonna rename the layer to body duplicate that and rename it to liquid and this is where the magic happens you wanna resize the liquid layer so that it fits inside the body uh, I'm gonna remove unnecessary layers from the liquid we just want a color layer I'm gonna set a random color for now as you can see the top of the flask is a bit buggy so I have to fix that uh, reposition it inside and rescale it now it fits properly the second step of the liquid magic is to add a cube on top of the liquid layer actually place it above the flask make sure it's above on all sides reposition it then select the cube and liquid layer and you want to perform a boolean operation the first time here voila we have the liquid let's rename the layer to mask so if you just select the mask and move it around um, it will react and it will have the illusion of liquid uh, make sure the cube is actually large enough to mask the entire thing um, alright we're gonna do some animations now and uh, let's just set a color to work with I will start with something purplish um, fine tune the funnel a bit next you want to select all layers and turn it into a group so everything moves together and everything's looking great from here and uh, next you want to start animating things so select the mask add a state select the base state and uh, reposition the liquid in line with gravity and uh, add a state for the beaker select the second state and reposition that as well Maybe I'll fine-tune the base a bit 
one thing you can see is once once you modify the base state the second state also disappears so you want to make sure you remember that i um, gonna adjust the mask so the liquid is updated with the changes i made it's a bit tricky over here but finally we have a good angle It would be great if I can animate the color, so I am going to do that as well. Set a state for it. Um, so the issue I highlighted earlier was that the second state disappears once you reset the base state to a different angle. So I'm going to fix that issue. Everything should be aligned. Now we can start animating the beaker and the liquid. Um, so set a state for the beaker, set it to 7 seconds and cycle it. Still the boolean at an event there as well, 7 seconds, yes, yes, yes. And you want to add another event for the mask as well, 7 seconds. Everything should animate uh, together. There we go. You can adjust the timing of animations according to your liking. So you just have to reduce the seconds if you want this to go faster. Um, feel like the liquid needs a bit more balance. So there's a trick you can use to make sure the liquid is aligned with gravity. So you just draw up a square, align it with in the background and just turn the liquid uh, in line with the square. So things will be more aligned but uh, obviously progress of perfection um, so that's it for this tutorial hope you learned something new and if you have any questions you can drop them in the comments if you have any requests for future tutorials you can drop them as well uh, drop a subscribe if you haven't and drop a like if you like the video I'll see you in the next one